Alright, welcome to the latest Pioneer League. We're going to run through with a Niv build. So this is a Yorian deck, as you can tell from the AD card, here running the Learn Package. So it's going to be a bit more Learn Intensive because we're going to run Professor of Symbology as our Learn Creature. Now, someone who's seen previous videos knows I was running Eye Twitch. However, we'll explain later that there is some synergies with it being an ETB here for the Symbol of... Symbol of... Uh, Professor of Symbology. But yes, yeah, so our eight card learn package is cram sessions for life gain and thing and symbol of pos symbol professor of symbology. Blah. All right, this is our moval slash hate package. We're running Celestia Charm. I'm running this because it can exile a big creature that can be cheated in. Um, I am aware the vehicle reanimated deck is still running around, but if you can't do that, then you can at least make a two-two out of it, so it's not too bad. We got just a strike for. Targeted creature removal, Cinder Veins, Cinder Vines for the hate for the uh, lands on tap deck, and more artifact hate. Abrupt Decay, solid removal, Dread Ball, Planeswalker hate. Tyrant Scorn, more removal slash bounce. Um, this is where we start to see synergies where we can bounce around creatures to breed by their ETVs or remove a problem creature. Vanishing Verse, solid removal as always, never need to explain. Colgan's Command to return creatures from graveyards and destroy artifacts. Our more ego for combo hate. Um, then we have our board white package of just Culling Ritual and two Supreme Verdicts. With different art from the rental service. Our Niv Bring to Light package. Now our main creatures that we're running. We're running Wandering Mind, Clothis, Knight of Autumn, Edgar and Arlen Cord. I'm running this Arlen because I'd be pretty impressed with it and I want to see if I can keep it going. I mean it's lowest rate, it's four mana for two two twos. Which you know isn't great, but isn't isn't terrible, but isn't great, but it's also a diversion tactic, as all planeswalkers are. Now, we've also had a Knight of Autumn for just for life gain and general hate, um, because we need a bit more life gain based on how Burn has been playing against this. So the reason we're running the ETB effects more here is as well as our Valky target. We're gonna try cheating Mila slash Luca in off the Bring to Light. So for those of you who don't know, Mila Luca works exactly the same as uh, Valky. If we bring to light for three different colors, we can grab Luca. Now his, <coughs> excuse me, his plus one's looting, but it's minus two that we need to be aware here. It returns a creature with haste, and then we exile it at the beginning of our next upkeep. So we can reanimate a blocker, and then, um, Basically, we can use it to either um, attack or block as we need to. Now, if it dies again, it obviously goes back to the graveyard. But we can also bounce it back to our hand with some of our spells that we just saw. So that's why we're running Professor of Symbology um, and Wandering Mind effects. If if any of these creatures in the graveyard and we have Luca, we can learn for a key piece if we got Luca. We can get back a Niv to get back a Reload, or we can Wandering Mind to dig for an answer. So, it's pretty diverse and solid. Also, his ultimate is basically the Terror of the Peaks on an Emblem, which is insane. Moving to our sideboard, we have our standard Learn Package, which is... I should have sorted this out before I did this. Mascot Exhibition, Environmental Sciences, Introduction to Annihilation, Teachings of the Arcanus. Mercurial Transformation, Pest Summoning for Life Gain, Containment Breach, I've added this back in because I completely misread this card, I thought it was if you destroy one with Tamana 2 or less, it actually can destroy any artifact or enchantment, so I actually am leaning towards using both of these because as we've seen in previous games, the one damage from start from scratch can sometimes be insanely powerful, well not insanely powerful but solid. As I said before, we're Yurian deck, we're running a Leyline of the Void for Graveyard Hate, Surak for Control Hate, Campbell for for Multiple Spell Hate, Additional Veto just for counter matchups, and Deafening Silence as a hate for um, the um, combo deck, the uh, Lotus Field and Tap deck. So that's the deck we're going to take into the league. Uh, this deck currently is running 110 tickets, so it is just outside the um, uh, the, the minimum for a um, 
minimum rent because I've been with the program for a while like I've got a bit above the hundred however most of that is tied up in the fluctuating price of lands so I think you could clearly trim a few of these lands down slash trade them out for other cheaper lands because I've got a few standard pathways and things in here and you could easily probably get this below 100 tickets but decklist will be in the videos well we're taking it to the league and let's see how we do